do a titer on the mother, we will know when that puppy can be actively immunized. But if we can get the serum from the puppy, that's even better because in a shelter situation, we don't know how long or if that puppy has nursed. And we just don't have the same information. So if we were to take a blood sample and it's a clotted blood sample that we then extract the serum from, we can readily do a serologic test, an antibody test for distemper and parvo. They're the two that we're really interested in. And we would then know exactly when that puppy can be vaccinated and immunized. So that's a, a real advantage if the shelter is in a position to be able to do that. The other time that we really like to do titer testing on every animal coming in is in an outbreak situation. And then we know whether or not we can actually put that animal into that environment without the animal becoming infected almost immediately and very likely developing significant disease, especially if it is parvo or distemper. So we've been very successful in using the antibody titers to be able to help shelters that don't have isolation facilities or can't separate the incoming animals easily from the animals that are already in the shelter and uh, showing uh, disease, if they have an antibody titer and they're uh, over 20 weeks of age, you know that that happens to be active immunity and we can put those animals right in the midst of that outbreak and they will not get infected. So that gives, that's a, a testament to how effective the vaccines really are. That's a true challenge. So if, if we were to want to minimize the number of vaccines in a shelter, and very often uh, that would probably be desirable on the part of the shelter and on the part of the health of the animal, uh, if we knew the antibody titer, we could then tailor that vaccination program to that particular puppy or that litter of puppies. And that would be the best of all worlds because then you're doing exactly what we're trying to do with pet puppies. And obviously we want most of these puppies to become someone's pet someday. And we don't want them to have problems with uh, the dogs developing hypersensitivity reactions and uh, skin problems and a whole variety of things that can come from over vaccination.